Welcome everyone back to Birmingham, our second show back here in the last five weeks. We'll be back again on November 6th. Very shortly we're going to speak to the guys fighting this weekend, but before we get there, oh no actually, scratch that, these are the guys fighting this weekend, I thought we were starting with the other show. So um, later we'll be speaking to Zach Parker who's headlining the show on November 6th, but before we get there, we have a big show this weekend. And Francis, I think I'll throw to you first. What a great show it will be this Saturday before Fury Wilder in Vegas. Absolutely. We've obviously got the, the, uh, the monster uh, fight in Vegas, but before that we've got some monsters in the Midlands. So we're uh, very much looking forward to uh, another fantastic show, obviously featuring these two gents to my right, um, Callum and Liam, and uh, just you know, great to be back. Um, Liam Davis on the far right there, I'll come to him um, shortly. He's fought with us twice now, two very quick knockouts, English bantamweight champion. This time he's going to be stepping up in weight for the vacant WBC silver at super bantamweight. It's a bright future for that kid, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think the, Liam, Liam's performance last time out was uh, quite spectacular. Um, and, uh, you know, we've, we, we know what he's capable of at Bantam. We, we was going to fight Andrew Kane on this show, but unfortunately Andrew pulled out with, the, with COVID. And um, that's a fight we'd hope, we'd hope to make later on, uh, well, sort of early in 2022. Um, an opportunity came up at um, the weight above, and uh, there was a, an available title to get, you know, to... to for the WBC International Silver, and I just think it's a good progression fight to uh, to establish himself a ranking with the BC, and um, to obviously to, to continue the uh, the good work he's been putting in so far. And then directly to your right, we've got Callum Johnson, one of the best light heavyweights in the country, world in, in the world. He's fought for us once now, and he went to war with Emil Markic and got the stoppage after two rounds. What do you see in Callum's future? I mean, just first. I mean, it was definitely definitely in a hurry that night, wasn't it? I mean, <laughs> a couple of years out, and uh, definitely uh, didn't 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 take a backward step. Um, obviously, he was going to Callum was going to fight in September um, on the uh, the Sonny Edwards show that uh, unfortunately got got pulled. Um, but you know, <coughs> Callum utmost um, professionalism just to you know to knuckle down, get on with it, and um, you know it's only a four weeks delay to you know, from from that from that um, postponed uh, fight. So. He's got a tough fight on um, on Saturday, and uh, a few people think it might be a potential banana skin. I certainly don't. I think he's going to be, look look for tremendous again and uh, and keep marching on towards that next uh, world title opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to go now to Liam Davis on the end there. Liam, since you've signed with Queensbury, you've had two fights. You fought in Telford, second round knockout. You fought the Utilita Arena in Birmingham, second round knockout, if I'm correct. This is going to be a third out in fairly short order on BT Sport. You excited to get out again? Yeah, uh, it's been like since I joined, it's been great. I've boxed twice, like say, two stoppages within. I think it's been three months within this fight as well. So I'm coming again for another stoppage, and uh, I'm at Super Bant on this one. So it just puts me in the mix at another weight, which uh, hopefully I'll get a big fight from one time because I'm here and ready and waiting. So your opponent this weekend is another veteran campaigner. It's Dixon Flores. He comes with a bit of a reputation. Do you know much about him, or are you just focusing on yourself? Uh, not too much. I know he fought for a world title. Uh, you don't fight for a world title if you're an idiot. But like I say, I, this has come at a good time for me. I'm ready. I fought four weeks ago, no injuries, straight back into the gym. And uh, I'm ready to, like I say, keep my name up there in the mix at Bantam and Super Bantamweight. Well, that's going to be my next question. You're obviously the English Bantamweight champion. You're going up to Super Bantam. Is this a long-term move for you or do you want to straddle both weights and see where you fit? Well, uh, at Bantamweight, the opportunities ain't come, have they? With Dennis, it never happened. Kane, it's not happened. So this one's at Super Bantam, and I believe I'm good enough and big enough to mix it with the best at Super Bantam. So wherever the opportunity comes, I'm going to turn up and uh, do what I normally do, come with bad intentions and show what I'm about. So you say you're gonna, you, you think you can mix it with the top at Super Bantam. Obviously, this weekend, the main event is a Super Bantamweight fight. And I hope I'm not putting you on the spot, but I did hear a rumour you said if one of the guys in the main event this weekend had got injured, you'd be happy to step in. Yeah. Is that, is that the level? Is that where you see yourself at now? Yeah, of course I would. Like I say, it's just a big opportunity for me, isn't it? Why wouldn't I? I believe I'm ready. And uh, I know I've got to show it, so the time will come, and uh, I believe I will show it when the time does come. And um, you and Francis have both said now, originally you were due to fight Andrew Kane this weekend. Yeah. You've moved on to this Dixon Flores fight, Super Bantam. Is the Andrew Kane fight one you'd want to revisit in the future? Yeah, like I say, I, to me, they're all names. As long as it makes sense to me, it'll happen. It's a good domestic fight, same as McCann. I hope they all happen, but 
they're not happening because it's not because of me. And I know you said earlier you're looking for another stoppage. Do you want to give us a prediction of when that stoppage might come on Saturday? I might as well go for another second round stoppage, and I make it three out of three. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> and we'll come to Callum Johnson in a bit. Thank you, Leon. Before we get there, we, um, to my left, we have Server and Mirliev. He'll be fighting Callum on Saturday night. Um, so Callum Johnson is one, considered one of the most avoided fighters in the light heavyweight division. What makes you think you're ready for this challenge? Калан Джонсон um, – один из таких um, бойцов, которые все боятся, как бы не очень хотят с ним сражаться. Um, почему вы думаете, что, um, что у вас есть вот именно, чтобы сразиться с ним и вот поймить победу? Ну, для начала всем здравствуйте. Я очень рад побывать здесь, в Англии, на родине бокса. Спасибо организаторам для начала. Yeah, just uh, just to start off, I just want to say a um, big hello to everyone and just want to say a big thank you for to be have the opportunity to be here in, even in the UK and to say thank you to all the promoters. Yeah, it's a boxing И тут вот, небольшой плюс, а это бокс, надо принимать вызовы, тем более есть такой шанс, если выиграть, попасть, подняться в рейтинге и забрать титул, поэтому как бы только вперед. So I'm just here, just moving moving forward, I'm here to be happy to be able to face a very dangerous opponent, um, the one that's going to throw me a challenge, the, the one that's going to let me let me have the opportunity to rise to the occasion. Um, and it's, it's, the, it's here, the country of sport, the, the boxing where it started, so I'm actually very happy to be here. So, and then if I'm actually able to have the opportunity to move up through the ranks, I'm going to take it and I'm here to fight. So obviously you've hinted there, you, a lot of his career has been in the Ukraine. How do you think you'll adjust to fighting in the UK? Много из вашей карьеры, как бы вы сражались um, в Украине, и как вы думаете, вы поменяете свою стратегию, когда вы сейчас будете сражаться в Англии? Ну, большинство карьеры, да, я отбоксировал в Украине, почти всю карьеру там отбоксировал. Сейчас, если вы знаете, а я думаю, вы знаете, то после восьмилетнего как бы перерыва я начал опять боксировать, тренироваться, пока я чувствую порох. Я буду боксировать, пока чувствую силу в руках. Mm -hmm. а, ну, заготовки, конечно, есть на бой, но это 9 октября в бою. Я думаю, вы увидите все. He said that um, he's just really happy um, to be able to have the opportunity again to, to fight, and um, he's just really, really glad that um, it will be the the career opportunity because he said as you know we actually not fought for about eight years um, I had the kind of a break but I'm at the moment I'm actually in full strength I'm feeling the strength all in all in my arms I can feel it all in I'm very very excited to to have the opportunity to fight again and to carry on and to have like the last part um, so throughout the course of your career you've won 24 fights of which eight were by knockout the rest by decision how do you see this fight going with Callum is it one you expect to go the distance Вы думаете, что вы хорошо с, эм, эм, вас пойдет этот матч, потому что вы в своей карьере делали 24, как бы у вас было боя, эм, 8 нокаутов, 16... Эм, 16 я понял, что, понял, я, понял, я, понял, угу, понял, угу. понял. Вы думаете, это будет это все эм, с, эм, ж, эм, по очкам, или вы думаете, что это нокаут? Еще раз я скажу, что это бокс. Еще кто-то говорит, ну или кто-то, его величество бокс. В боксе все может быть. Так же, как с моей стороны, так с стороны из Каума. Поэтому тут я не могу сказать, пройдет это все, все раунды или закончится в раннем, или где-то в середине закончится один точно удар, и поединок может измениться как в ту сторону, так и в эту. He said it's boxes can be, as you know, so unpredictable. The fact that the, the fights can happen and you know knockouts can happen at any stage, and of course they said see what, what will be what will be so <laughs> okay, sir, sir, sir. Okay, sir, sir, sir. <laughs> so I guess that's the prediction from server what will be will be let me go to Callum now 
Very rarely in your career has anyone said they're happy to share a ring with you. Um, are you looking forward to Saturday night? Because obviously you were part of a show that got cancelled. You've had to wait. Are you ready to go now? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Um, you know, obviously it was disappointing. It got cancelled four weeks ago, but straight back in the gym and just continued the training and we're ready to go Saturday. The last time we saw you was against Emil Markic. I don't think I'm being unfair to say that was a bit of a war for as long as it lasted. He did rock you at one point. Are you ready for more of the same this weekend or are you looking to get more rounds in or what are you, what are you hoping for um, from the fight? You know, it'll be, <laughs> silly, I know you said that, it'll be what it'll be. Um, <laughs> we'll find out when the ball goes, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking to uh, put a show on and, and show what I can do and you know, do, do the job that I always do. Do you like it when a fight goes that way? Do you like it when it becomes a war or is that just something that happens in the ring? Um, I don't really think too much about it. You know, boxing's boxing. You know, you, you're in there to throw punches and potentially take punches. But you know, I don't want too too much of wars. Let's be honest. But you know, if it goes that way, you know, I know I can go through the trenches if I need to, and I can go as deep as anybody. Did the show getting cancelled for September the 11th? Did that affect your preparations in any way, or has it not bothered you in the slightest? No, not really. Um, you know, I had a great camp to the last fight. You know, I just took the fight week off as you do and let the body recover a little bit and straight back into training and here we are. So this is going to be your second fight with Queensbury. Um, previous to that, people said you were too inactive. Obviously, you're looking to build up the rounds now, build up the um, experience again. Obviously, later this year, we're going to see two of Frank's other light heavyweights in action, um, Lyndon Arthur, Anthony Yard. Are they the sort of fights you'd look at for next year or are you hoping to go straight at world title level first? Um, I'd like to get the world title fight, let's be honest. You know, we all want that, don't we? And then defend it against them. But whatever it will be next year, I'd like to get this one out of the way. At the end of the day, you know, I've got a bit of a test on my hands on Saturday night, so I've got to come through Saturday. I'd like to get out again before Christmas. We'll see what happens. And then sort of next year, it's kind of whoever, whenever. But the dream for you, is, is it's still the same as it's always been, get that world title. Yeah, right? of course it is. Yeah. And how do you see this one going on Saturday night? Obviously, K Sarah Sarah over here. What about you? Yes, um, same. It'll be what it'll be. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm always in there to look for the knockout. And, you know, I always feel I'll, I can knock anybody out. So, you know, I think it's good. at some point he will go. At some point he will go. We look forward to it, Francis. We will get Brad Foster, Jason Cunningham, Echo and Danny up shortly. But these two fights here, obviously Dixon's not here, but the two fights on the stage now, they're good fights, aren't they? Absolutely. I mean, you've got you've got two guys to my right who are probably at slight, you know, opposite end of their careers. I think you know Liam's obviously looking to make a um, bit of a statement on Saturday to, to, to announce themselves on, on an international level. Um, obviously, there's plenty of domestic fights for him, so it's kind of the world is his oyster. Um, Callum, he's uh, he's been around a while, and um, obviously he wants to he wants to you know keep climbing those rankings and, and secure that world title shot, which is something that we've uh, we've promised to deliver him and. Um, coming through Saturday, we're one step closer to it. Perfect, so we're going to take a break for a couple of seconds just to get the face off between Callum and Serva, and then we'll bring the remaining two fights from this Saturday up to the stage. Thank you.